His Majesty King Msoti III has urged the nation to unite against all that is hindering development in the country. His Majesty elaborated by saying the Golden Jubilee celebration in 2018 should symbolize the successes and the development of the country over the years. His Majesty was speaking when he officially inaugurated the fourth session of the 10th Parliament. We have a report. <laughs> His Majesty King Mswati III arriving in Parliament to officially commission the fourth session of the 10th Parliament. The state opening marks the formal start of the parliamentary year and His Majesty's speech sets out the government agenda for the coming session, outlining proposed policies and legislation. The state opening was graced by Her Majesty in Lofugazi. Her Majesty, Emma Kosigati, the royal family and dignitaries who included diplomats paid attention to the speech from the throne. His Majesty urging the nation to unite against all that is hindering development so that the country can have good reason to celebrate the Golden Jubilee in 2018. Blessings are surely upon us this year. We are honored that uh, the African leaders in their 27 2017 AU meeting held in Addis Ababa have elected the kingdom to be the chair to lead the African Leaders Malaria Alliance. This is in recognition of the kingdom's leadership, stewardship in the fight against malaria that has seen the country awarded for excellence in the region. This new development is what we need to kickstart the new year with confidence in our ability to achieve great things. Let us now unite against all that is hindering our development with equal vigor and determination so that uh, we usher 2018 with good reasons to celebrate our golden jubilee, the 50-50. Therefore, the guiding theme for the year for each one of us should be rising above adversity to create prosperity for all. Unpacking this year's theme, which is rising above adversity to create prosperity for all, the king noted that while SACU revenues are estimated to increase for the next financial year, the kingdom should invest in diverse industries with multi-billion turnovers, saying the country should not jeopardize national programs by putting eggs in one basket. His Majesty exceeded expectation and addressed all matters of national concern, which included the effects of El Nino. He said the kingdom remained steadfast in the goal to ensure that all Swazis have access to clean water supply by the year 2022, further announcing a 200 million Malangani water project, which will benefit 61,000 people in Sipofaneni, Somtongo, and Matanjani. His Majesty further challenging the energy sector to improve the national household electricity access rate from 69% to above 72% by the end of the next financial year. The King saying government will continue to invest in education and will further support the free primary education program and is open to citizens, companies and friends of the kingdom who may want to assist in the establishment of the Sardeg University. While the declining rate of HIV infection is a positive development, a lot needs to be done in achieving an AIDS free society by the year 2022. The King saying elderly grants will be increased in the next financial year and His Majesty wants a corruption free Swazi society. His Majesty said the country will continue to pursue peace and stability and firmly believes in dialogue in solving world conflicts. We wish to thank Emaswati from all sectors of society for the peace and stability that this country continues to enjoy. Let us be united in forging a brighter and, pro and prosperous future for all. May we put all the challenges we faced the previous year behind us and tap into the new opportunities that lie ahead. The level of uh, 
our commitment will determine the growth and development we desire for this country. Our forefathers played their part. Now we owe it to the future generations to, to the future generation to play ours. As we say in Africa, those who waste time only hurt themselves. For tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. I now declare the fourth session of the 10th Parliament officially open. The Speaker in the House of Assembly, Temba Msibi, said Parliament hopes to have passed all bills at the end of the 10th Parliament. He invited the nation to play a more active role in the legislative process by making submissions on bill whenever invited. Sandile Makanya, Swazi TV News, Parliament.